Turn to Robert Kubica now. <laughs> yeah, good Robert. Bridge, yeah? <laughs> Robert, after the first stage this morning, you were the leader of Rally Monte Carlo and after the second. Could you imagine that when you woke up and walked to the service park that you'd be leading after such difficult conditions and in the World Rally Car as well? Well, yeah, uh, not really, but uh, uh, it came a bit of, as a surprise, of course. Uh, uh, first two stages were actually first stage was very very difficult. Uh, okay, we were leading after two stages, but uh, we didn't. We were not as clever, okay, or, or not as experienced as uh, Brian and Chris. And uh, I was nearly going to put two snow tires in the boot, but uh, then uh, weather forecast was uh, saying it will not snow. Then uh, you know we thought, okay, there is no no point of bringing two. Uh, two snow tires for nothing, but uh, that was the reason. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we lost uh, a lot of time in the first stage. Actually, it was my first time with slick tires on snow, so it wasn't the easiest uh, day for me. But uh, definitely, you know, I had uh, a small target of this year for myself as a driver. I was hoping to win a stage in WRC. I did it in the first attempt. Uh, so I have to put up uh, that new target, but I, I think I will wait until Monte Carlo finish and then because I think Monte is not the best idea to, you know, step up and move uh, forward. I think uh, the conditions are very tricky and uh, most of the conditions I, I drive today it was my first time uh, in, in, in my life, not only WRC car. So uh, you can imagine there was, uh, uh, yeah. I. There was a lot of action, but not actions because I was pushing action because uh, when you are driving eight kilometers downhill with uh, slick tires and, uh, and uh, the car it doesn't stop even if you are going 40 kilometers per hour, it, it, it doesn't feel nice, but uh, it feels nice to be here. Uh, my target is uh, to, to be in Monte in the end and uh, that's, uh, it will stay. Then if our pace will be good, uh, it's even better, but the uh, priority is to finish the rally. I mean, what makes it more amazing, and you mentioned it there, is the driving on the slick tyres on that opening stage this morning and still setting those kind of times. We imagine in our heads there must have been some huge moments. Were there? Is the onboard very interesting? No, the onboard is not interesting, actually. Um, yeah, it was, uh, it was, I was driving, I, I, I said to my co-driver, maybe I was driving fast because I didn't know what to do. Uh, because it was my first time, so I was just driving for what I felt. And then, uh, after 15 kilometers, we, or 12 kilometers, we had the first split, and uh, I thought it's a split of the uh, car in front of me, of Evans, not of the leader of the, of, of the biggest guy. So I was driving my pace, and uh, when my co driver was saying that I'm like 11 seconds quicker, I thought it's uh, uh, it's against Evans, not against uh, the, the quickest on the stage. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, it worked out okay. I have one moment, uh, not really big, but uh, in the first stage uh, there was very slippery in the beginning, but wet. And then suddenly there was double header, like 60 corner, and suddenly I have no no note about ice, and it, it was icy just from one point to the other. And uh, yeah, but uh, I think everybody had moments. So. But it wasn't uh, as big as, uh, for example, in the other I had much more moments. Well, <laughs> well, guys, we look forward to seeing you all compete tomorrow, whatever the weather may bring you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank Brian Bouffier, Robert Hitzer, Chris Meek. Thanks, guys. Thank